Alright guys, I'm back. It's like probably two days later since I got the swing arm. Whole thing's taken apart. I got the swing arm right here. I gotta throw that on today. Procrastinated on it because yesterday we went to Pavilion and I didn't have time to put the swing arm on. So I'm doing it today. So we're trying to go ride tomorrow on the pit bikes. But uh, yeah, right now I am about to cook some hot dogs on the grill and eat some lunch. Just do it by hand, whatever. Well, those are cooking. I gotta try out my new, or not new, I've had them for a while, my Snapchat spectacles. It's where like, they're basically sunglasses and you wear them and you press a button and it records like on your face, like your kind of point of view. So I'm charging those up and I'm gonna post some cool Snapchats. If you guys don't have me on Snapchat already, it is tmonigan188. My Instagram is t underscore monigan, but if you wanna see the snaps, they're obviously gonna be on Snapchat, not Instagram. So yeah, these things are pretty cool. I got them when I went to New York City and they were like limited edition, you had to go to the Dropbox, whatever. So I just realized I was talking about them and I didn't even show you what the glasses looked like. It's so right here, um, it's got a little glowing ring right there. I'll show you guys better in the sun, but they look like in this little charging carrying case. The thing I've been thinking about doing is kind of longer videos. I know some of you guys like the longer videos, like maybe my typical video is, I think like 10 to like 13 minutes. So I was thinking about maybe doing like a 20 minute vlog, I don't know how you guys would feel about that. Post a comment down below if you want like every once in a while maybe like a 20, 25 minute full long like raw kind of video because most of this I cut out, I edit out. Kind of like the boring parts are what I think is boring but for some of you it might not be boring just seeing random stuff I'm doing so post a comment let me know if you guys would like some longer videos more raw just like me and my friends talking or stuff just random things just let me know. Well it looks like somebody's enjoying the nice weather today. What are you doing? You laying on the driveway? Every time I put her in a video, she's always just hanging out, hairs in her face. This with one hand, I never could. Oh, there we go. Doesn't even look like it's moving. Check these hot dogs. Just got a new thing for the pit bike build. I'm not gonna show you yet, but if you guys know, it's what it is. If you guys have a hint from that little package there. This is what we're working with. Piece of bread, got my pure leaf, stuff's amazing, and some YouTube. Typical. All right, so I've been washing the bikes for probably a half an hour now, both the big bike. All clean, all freshened up. You guys saw my Snapchat. Posted a picture of a dirty whatever. Pit bike's all cleaned up so I can work on that. I'm probably not gonna get to it today. Probably get to it tomorrow. It's been like a three day process for the stupid swing arm, but it'll be like two seconds for you guys. Run to the post office really fast, ship out some of your sticker orders that you guys ordered this week. Getting the new video uploaded. Short vlog really quick, if you guys wanna check out the new clap stickers right here. New uh, number plate stickers right here. New Moto Dude stickers, so check them out. Links down below. I'm gonna get back to putting on this extended swing arm and try to finish it up today so we can go to the Sam Pit and ride today. All right, finally, we're outside. I'm getting the wheel and stuff all taken off and I'm just gonna try to do this as fast as possible. It's like 2.30 right now. We wanna go ride at about 3, 3.30ish. So I gotta do this thing, get it changed out pretty fast. Maybe I'll put a timer at the, at the corner of the thing, how long it takes me, but I'm gonna edit it, so I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so now I got the junk swing arm right here and the new one I believe has all the bearings in it and stuff so it should be set to go to just throw right in. I wanna change this chain guide though. And this one since they spray painted it, right here, I don't know if you can see it very good but it wore down to the swing arm right there and it was wearing into the metal so the one I have on my old swing arm um, isn't completely worn down yet. Chain guide put on there, the new one and we'll just slide this thing back on. Right, next thing, we're getting the shock all hooked up with this spacer. It's probably gonna be a lot better now that it has the uh, three inch extension on it. So I'm having an issue here where the, the axle won't fit because there's a piece I have to grind down on the back because it's hitting the frame. I'm gonna try to take it off right now and try to grind it down with the Dremel tool or whatever. I'm being a pain, of course. There's always problems that can never just go together, right? So I gotta take it apart. Okay, update here. 
I got the swing arm to fit on there because I had to take that um, shock spacer out right there. It was kind of offsetting the way it could go in, but it's all put together now and I can get the wheel and stuff put on. Getting the wheel and stuff all put on now. Hopefully this goes smooth. That last process of getting this on probably took me a good half an hour. Not gonna fit. I'm gonna need the longer um, brake arm for that to work unless I back it all the way out. I'm gonna try to back it all the way out and see if it works that way. That was way too hard for a simple swing arm change. Said, I'm an amateur mechanic, so uh, this is what we, yeah, so. I don't know. Okay, got this all figured out because my lock nut on there my lock nut was uh, stripped out, the one that originally was on there, so I had to find a new nut for that to work. And uh, yeah, it just never ends. So oh, watch the chain not fit, watch it be too short. Chain doesn't fit, I'm already late. Ugh. I might have another chain, or I'm gonna have to buy one on the way there, I don't know. Okay, so I found this old rusty chain. So I found this old rusty chain, I gotta take out a link here for it to work, and then we should be good to go. All right, there's the other half. Got this half. This should work now. I took too much out and it won't work. Uh, I might have another chain, hang on. All right, I think this is my last chance. I have another chain. I have another gold chain from my old 70 pit bike that I think is too short. So yeah, this is my, my last option here. All right, finally, we got all the chain hooked up. I got it all to the right tension, and we should be good to go. It's not really the right size to just move around a little bit, but it should be fine to ride tonight, and then tomorrow I can go pick up a chain from the store. Back at it the next day after we went to the sand pit, I went to the store, and I picked up some parts for the pit bike. Picked up some parts from Lowe's without having to order some parts for that rear brake, because they wanted like 20, 25 bucks for a longer extended, like just a little um, extension thing to put on my brake. Um, holy thing right here so I took it off and went to Lowe's and I bought this right here for like a dollar I think which is such a better deal and I'm just gonna bend it up the same as this and hopefully it works I also got some other um, nuts and stuff and then this little extension things that will hopefully help it or help me bend it and stuff got this all tightened on that was a pain to get up get all the threads and stuff lined up for that but that's all good to go and now I gotta figure out this bend and how this is all gonna work and how I'm actually gonna bend it right to go in there. Garage, what I wanna do is I put this piece on there and that nut, so that's where I want the bend right in between there. I'm gonna try to heat it up. The vice all I'm gonna do is heat it up, grab it on both ends, and just uh, pry it down. Oh. I'm gonna heat this up a lot more this time. And don't judge me on what I'm doing right now. Don't comment below. I know you're gonna comment something like, I'm an amateur, like, I know, I accept the fact that I'm an amateur and I'm doing this wrong or some other way you could have done it, but this is my way and we're just gonna go with it. Here we go, it's all heated up and we're gonna see what happens. Let me try to, yeah, it did exactly what I thought. It broke. But here's what we're actually gonna do. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I have this extension, I have that little, I do, since this comes up so short, as you can see, once I put it into here, it's like maybe two or three inches short. So, I'm gonna leave this onto there. I might cut this end off a little bit so then it's straighter. I'm gonna cut this to the correct length, connect this, like, I'm gonna connect like this, this, to that, to that, and then we're gonna have our extra length that we need. So I should've just thought of that. I don't know why I was trying to bend this up perfectly um, to match that, because that was gonna be way too hard, especially because this is the aluminum, and it's just gonna ruin. So, got my safety glasses on, and we're gonna cut this to length. We're gonna cut this off so it's straight. All threads on, right? All the threads are gonna be a little funky now. Yep, perfect, good to go. That's we're gonna put it into place. Actually, I might have to put this in here first. That's how we're looking right now. Here's that piece I put on. It comes up, the original piece. It is gonna rub a little bit right there, but I'm not too worried about that as long as I have rear brakes. But it's not, 
it doesn't look too bad. It might might be fine. Brake all figured out. It works a little bit, but it's still not the best brakes. Obviously, the drum brakes, but they're whatever. They work a little bit. I'm going to try to take this baffle out of the exhaust right here before I get a new exhaust because that last video, you guys destroyed that by telling me I need a new pipe. Yes, I know it's coming in the mail can't do everything at once so I'm gonna try to take this out so it's a little bit louder if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button down below like and share the video with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one